up guys welcome back to another freaking video so today is vlogmas day 16 it's already 16 oh my gosh <laughs> i think i say that every video but what do you guys think of my little fit i'm trying to look like a woman <laughs> vlogmas day 16 here we go Today's actually going to be a lot different than most of my posts. Most of my posts were out eating, we're doing Christmas stuff, we are happy, and we are dandy and whatnot. But the, based on what had just happened yesterday, saying that emotional pain and distress seem to grow around the holidays. CBS 4's Naja Sherman spoke to a mental health expert about that. Yeah, absolutely. Dancing DJ Steven Twitch Boss was best known for his prominent role on Ellen DeGeneres' show. His incredible dance moves, which first brought him into the spotlight as a contestant on So You Think You Can Dance, and for being a beloved husband and father. According to the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner, his death was by suicide. I feel like we need to talk about it because I feel like Christmas time and the holidays, it's like a sensitive subject that people don't want to talk upon because like I said, Christmas time, everybody's thinking happy thoughts and gifts and joy and all this and that. But for me, um, you guys have always asked, like, you're always so happy. You're always just laughing and giggling and whatnot. And I get that a lot. Honestly, I get that a lot. And then on the other side, I get the hate comments is like, oh, well, this just happened to your life. Why aren't you devastated? Why aren't you crying? Why aren't you going this and that? So I feel like I need to talk about it. But I don't know about you, but I've always followed Twitch, um, especially on his TikTok account. He's my number one person I go to, um, him and his wife, because they have the dancing videos. And I just love their coordination. I love that they um, interpret their kids sometimes. And he's just always happy, jolly man. And all the interviews and everybody that was posting about him, they all said the exact same thing, that he's always just so happy and jolly. So that just goes to show some people hide behind laughters they hide behind the smiles and the joy and the excitement some people show it so everybody is different everybody deals with grief differently everybody deals with stress trauma i feel like i need to speak upon this because i don't want to create this image where you guys think that my life is perfect and i got over the grief part of losing my husband so for those of you guys that don't know um i had lost my husband last year due to covid so since then, I don't post much about my struggles. I don't post much about my depression, my anxiety, my ER visits and everything. I don't want you guys to see that I'm weak and a lot of people see it as entertainment. Um, I just didn't want to put myself out that way. And then um, also, like I was saying, this YouTube vlogging and documenting everything is basically a journal for my daughter now. I suffer with depression. I suffer with anxiety. Um, I got to a point where like I, I enjoy being alone. I don't want to be out there and seeing everybody else happy with their loved ones, their husband and their wives and their kids. And, and I feel like everybody's going through it. You're probably going through it. You lost your mom, or your dad, your sibling, your friend, your coworker, and you're like everybody's on vlogmas cheering and happy and but no it's it, it happens to everybody <laughs> perfect example twitch you would never thought he was going through a depression he was going through struggles he was going through everything else <laughs> i feel like a lot of you guys miss like i'm misleading you in a way like i'm always happy like my life is perfect no no it's not no, it's not. I got this house away from everybody else because I got to a point where I like being alone. I feel like I can build myself up being alone and I just have my two girls with me. That's, I felt like that's all I needed in life was just a two. I pushed family away. I pushed friends away. and So YouTube is what really helped me out a lot. I feel like um, I went through counseling. I've talked to family members. I took trips to get my mind off things. Um, we got a cat. 
we got a dog, we changed locations of where to live, we've gone through so much where I've tried everything. The only reason why I've tried everything is because, like I said, I have my girls and I want to push forward. I don't want them to see that I'm a failure and I would have to go through drug losing my mind and doing something hurtful to myself. Like, I don't want that to be out there. And some people struggle so much to hide their struggles and it gets to a point where it gets overwhelming so when i get to a point where it gets overwhelming i call z and say hey i need a day for myself and she'll take the girls with she'll take the girls from me and she'll have them for like a day or two and i'm over here recuperating myself for most of the time like i try and do things like go to the lake because my late husband was a fisher a fisherman so I would go there sit there and I just cry it all out or I'll just come home and just sleep and as a mom I feel like we just are constantly on a go we don't have time to grieve we don't have time to sit there and rest up like we are constantly going dealing with depression and anxiety and all of that it just makes it that much harder um I feel like so my message to you is it's okay. It's okay to break down. It's okay to take time for yourself. It's okay to cry. It's okay. I guess the point of this video is I also suffer with it too. So with the holidays coming around, I know it's very hard. Not everything is cheerful. You do have your little moments where you wish so-and-so was here. You wish you were struggling with certain things and... You wish things were different, and I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, but I am a strong believer that everything does happen for a reason. There's a reason why you are in your situation right now, but it's just for a season. We got to keep going. We are strong. There are so many different resources um, if you need help. There are so many. Go on Google everywhere, and also I'm going to leave phone number here. I've called this phone number, believe it or not, so many times I have called to talk to somebody because I did get those moments where I just wanted to go. So I'm going to leave that number um, maybe down here. <laughs> I don't want it touching my head. But yeah, I've used that number so many times. Y'all go call them. Um, it's free. You can talk to them any time of the day if you're feeling overwhelmed or you can't go talk to a counselor or somebody that you usually talk to isn't there available for you call this number being funny and laughing and doing all that is my cover is my way of building myself back up so don't think that i am perfectly fine don't think that i have everything under control don't think i have everything <laughs> i don't i really don't I feel like for my Native American community that we don't see a lot of people talking about it. We see a lot of people going out and just drinking about it. We see a lot of people going and doing drugs about it. Like they go out about it the wrong way. But like I said, use this number before you get there. Use, call this number. Um, I'm not trying to be like a, an advocate or anything else. I am far from an advocate. Um, when it comes to wording and trying to explain certain things, it just doesn't come out the way I want it to. So I just want you to see like, hey, it's not perfect. <laughs> this is not perfect. But every day I silence myself. Um, I felt like that was the best way that I could cope with. Silence myself as in going to the gym. Um, silence myself in as in going to church, praying um building myself back up quietly and having the girls around helps me out so much more so you have your loved ones nearby pull them in closer because they are here they are around you for a reason use them to build yourself back up so find your purpose find your word find your strength find yourself again and if you already did and you've already went through the whole grieving process and you still have those moments where you're like, you know, I really wish my mom was here. I really wish so-and-so was here. I wish my daughter was here. I wish my dad was here. It's okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay. We all missed them. 
So I'm not going to sit here and say, I know it all. I don't. I am just going through the punches just as much as you are too. You got to check up on your friends. Check up on your family. They may seem like they're okay. They may seem like everything is fine. Um, but you don't know what people are dealing with. If I told you that I'm going through all this in the middle of laughing and making a video, would you guys have believed me? You guys probably would have thought it was a joke. And I know a lot of you guys had subscribed to me because you guys also um, were going through the same thing. And I'm sure you guys were looking for answers to help you. And I feel like the only thing I gave was everything's okay. It's okay to laugh. It's okay to continue to live your life. It's okay. Because the way I heal is laughing. You guys all know I say the most random and stupidest things. It's okay, guys. So I'm sorry if you came here thinking that I'm a prime example or I'm an advocate for uh, losing somebody. But really, I'm not. I'm literally in the same boat as you. I'm still trying to figure it out just like you. It's not just dealing with um, losing a loved one. It may be going through a relationship breakup. It may be financial issues, school, or just anything. It could be anything. <sighs> we'll be okay. So before I leave, I want to say thank you for those that have reached out to check up on me and to give me some positive reinforcement um, for those of you guys that tell me that everything is going to be okay, which it is, it, it is, there's always going to be a light at the end of the tunnel, but we just have to keep going to get there. But coming from me, like I miss, I miss Chan so much. my uncles <laughs> it was my mom <laughs> I miss I miss my niece I miss my auntie uh, I feel like everybody was here to bring something different and just a little note <clears throat> For my daughter that's going to be watching this later in life. Mama's doing everything she can to keep you happy. <laughs> Just yesterday you started asking about your dad. You started saying dada. Where is daddy? And you're only two. I'm doing everything I can, baby girl. Mama's doing everything she can. I love you so much. So, so, so much. I pray to God every day that I'm glad he left you here with me. Every morning you wake up, it's like... The smile that you give me, that little sniffle that you do. That little lick in my face every morning. Baby, you... You start my day every day. You make me want to wake up and fight again every single day. <laughs> because of you, I'm still here. God. I'm in a lot of pain right now, and I'm super confused with what you're doing with my life. But I'm trusting you, Father. I know you have a plan for me, and I'm ready to follow. So please, lead me on the path that you have for me, and help me stay on course. Because I need you more than ever. But I hope you guys picked up on something that I said. Um, like I said, I really don't talk about it much. Which I should. It's just I don't want to keep making videos of me crying. So I stop talking about it. And I silently build myself, like I said. But the way you guys want to rebuild yourself, the way you guys keep yourself going every day, stick with it. If it's not working, change it. 
there are so many resources on Google um, if you ever get to the breaking point where, like I said, you don't have anybody to talk to, call this number right here. But in the meantime, let's have a really good Christmas, regardless. <laughs> regardless of everything else. Let's keep moving forward, guys. This is my song, I've been listening to the radio all night long. Sit around, wait for it to come on, and here it is. Girl, you got that beat right. Kill it, ain't you leave I sign off. Your loving's got me buzzing like a street light. It's too early out of Cali, baby. Don't you wanna rally again? When I taste tequila, oh baby, I still see ya. Cutting up the floor in a sorority t-shirt.